Hello, this is Paul Shearer with InformCIO.com. Today we're going to be looking at the topic of backup and recovery in Windows Server 2008. The first thing that I'm going to need to do <coughs> is to go to Server Manager and enable this particular feature so that we have the ability to perform a backup. So to do that, I click on Feature, I go over and I click Add Features, and I'm going to add the features for backups as soon as I find them. There we go. Backup features. We can expand that out and see what... Uh, eh, we won't do command line right now. We'll save that for a uh, PowerShell demo. Next. and install. And we'll go ahead and pause the video while this is installing. Alright, it's just on its uh, final tasks. Or so we hope. Alright, the feature was successfully installed. We're going to close out. And now, expand out the Storage tab, and click on Windows Server Backup. Now the reason this video got prioritized in the sequence as it did was because when I initially built the server out, I created it with way too small of, small of a boot partition, only 8 gig in size. So what I've done is I've created a 12 gig disk and we're going to write our backup to that disk and then the ultimate goal is to restore the backup to a new VM, one with a larger hard drive. Click Next going to say full actually we're going to go back and we're going to say custom and we're only going to back up our C drive All right the destination is going to be the E drive And we're going to choose VVS Full Backup. If it appears I was pausing to read the screens because I've never done this before, you would be correct in your assumption. Alright, the status window is giving us the uh, the amount of data transferred. Looks like we're writing this across at a fairly quick clip. And we'll pause the video at this point. Alright, and our backup is just about to finish up. Status backup is now complete. Close.
close out of here and we can see in the window when we perform the backup 